three, two, one. Hi, and welcome. This is the very first time I've ever done this. I've been shooting video and photography for about 20 years, and I brought you along on a real corporate photography shoot with a real client. And uh, what we're gonna do, you see behind me, is we're set up for uh, head shots or trainer shots, like mid-torso shots, so that uh, their trainers can have a really nice photograph. And so we're gonna get busy and go right to it. You're gonna see this, how it unfolds in the real world. Let's get to it. So I'm shooting a full frame DSLR, a Mark IV, III, I don't know, whatever, it doesn't really matter, right? It's a full frame, just know your camera. Um, so we get a nice blurry dark depth of field. I got a couple light stands in the shop, but I know I'm gonna crop um, in, so that's not really bothering me right now. So Einstein right here, Einstein in the back. And the cool thing about the bear bulb, is the bear bulb's kind of going all the way around. And I have that uh, diffusion over there, the 4272, I think it is. Um, that works really well. With this diffusion, it'll let some light in the background. You might notice that this light stand is on an angle because I'm not using a sandbag. So I actually have Rocky Mountain leg happen with the uh, actual uh, counterweight of it. So I'm just gonna turn this like this. I'm gonna bring this down a little bit so I can adjust it because I don't have my other meter with me. And then we're just gonna take this off like that. A little hot. Turn this down like this. We're gonna float this bear bulb right above the diffusion, and it's gonna light a little bit everywhere for me. It's gonna be nice. So I had, I've caught this. I kept on adjusting the camera, and I see on CM1 here, that's why it keeps on changing. So what I have to do is change this to manual so you see the M. And then once you see the M on the back of the camera, now we know it won't change on you. So now I'm going back to the F-stop, back to 120, to 160, F2 flat, right? ISO is 100. Always shoot the lowest ISO you possibly can. So now I'm a 100 ISO, 160 of a shutter, F2. There we go. Now, it's always important to look through your settings. Gonna get a nice focus mark on them. And now we're looking good. Now you see my background, a little bit darker than I want it to be, and <laughs> you just tighten that up too. So it's always nice to see what the real world is when you're out here doing it. All right, we almost got you covered, buddy. Talk to your subjects. How long have you been a trainer here for? Uh, about three months. Three months, you see, you get them talking so they don't realize you're still messing with the lights. What's your favorite food? Uh, let's go burgers. Burgers, there we go. All right, so now we got F2, so I'm gonna adjust the camera F2 here. And ISO 100, we're gonna give a little test. Look right here at me. Good, and I know I'm gonna crop this, so we're just gonna give that. A little bright at two, ISO 100. We go two, 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 five. Let's see what they look like here. I know I'm gonna kinda come in vertical and do it like this. So I'm a little hot. I'm gonna add a little bit of reflector to the side, and then we're gonna rock through these trainers. So it's not quite a reflector, but it's white, so it'll be clean. I'm just gonna put this right next to him, right here, like this. And then we're just gonna raise this up again, like this. And now, we do it by the numbers, shall we? Do it by the numbers. First thing is, get your light meter out. Take an ambient reading, 125. It's not registering, so that's good. Go back to strobe, get my tester out. And then I got 100 ISO. And here we go, back on the mark. So my key light first. Key, key light's gonna be right here. 2.1, my hair light next, right on the back of them. Here we go, 2.1, hold on here. 2.9, you see 2.9, and then two flat. So about a stop difference where I wanna be. And now we're gonna open up a shade over here. I'm gonna hide it right from the hair light. I wanna see what the shade is. Right under his chin, I kinda know what, so one three, so it's about another stop below two. Stop it a little bit. So we got a good contrast going. Now we're ready to rock it. Next contestant. So it was a little bit shorter, which is fine. We don't want to shoot down on him. We want to always kind of shoot eye line, right? So when you when you when you shoot people, it's always to shoot nice to eye line a little bit below, gives them a sense of power. 
you know, because we're not doing selfies because we have a longer lens. We're doing selfies, you shoot that, but we're not, we're not doing that. We're doing pro stuff here. All right, here we go. This is great. Nice, nice. I'm gonna go check that. Now she's got blonde hair, so she's a little bit hotter on, the, on there, but I know that in post I can adjust that. And I'm gonna go ahead and go to F2. I'm gonna go to 30 of a second on my background here. One stop more light in the background, all right. And I'm looking at my, yep, looking right here at me. So I know I got the light stand in my shot, but I'm gonna crop that out. My shots are really gonna hear. I might even crop like that. So that basically more of a 35 and eight by 10 crop like that. And then we'll put the name of the trainer behind. Um, when you go through a lot of people, you wanna just keep it all the same. Light here, dark here. I know shooting raw, the information is gonna be there. So it's not that big of a deal. So now we're gonna like break down the photography area and uh, go and post and then we'll pick this back up and post. Finished the photo shoot at Gym SRQ. I've loaded up some photos and kind of show you. So just trying to keep a stop ratio, a one stop uh, from shadow to light. Um, classic portraiture kind of idea. So here I am, I'm kind of getting in there. And then you can see I have two reflections here. This one right here is my actual hot light. This is from the outside. This is what I'm gonna move and turn off and I'll start cropping a little bit. Um, we we'll use this for the video light. You can see, you can see the next one, there it is. And then I turned off a light, I'm still messing around with it. I still have the reflection from the outside, but then I'm starting to get ones I like here. Um, so we're kind of looking at him, and then we're kind of moving along here. And then we kind of see this one. Oh, and now we're getting somewhere. So now we've got a pretty decent one going. And then, uh, so here's where we're at. And then this one, I like the first one. And I cropped in and used the clone stamp tool to get rid of that reflection. Um, and I knew I was going to crop in when I was doing the shoot. You can see the light stand here. You can see the tag up here. But that's okay because I knew this is what I was kind of going for. Uh, so now I'm going to go over and pretty much just be looking at his face. I'll come back and edit. It's the way I like to do it. I just hit the number four key and give him a four star. Uh, just my method. So that's a four star. Um, and then you can say that I've opened up the shutter speed. Uh, to let more background light go in. I'll show you that. So if you look at, um, there, my computer's lagging because I'm recording the screen apparently. Uh, let's see here. So, oh, so there we go. So that's 60th of a second. Um, and then you see the darker background. And then um, we go ahead and we'll go to 30th of a second, a little bit lighter, a little bit more light in on the background, but it's not affecting the exposure on the strobe on his skin. Um, so now I'm just literally not caring about anything but his expression on his face. So I think I got that one, I'm gonna give that a four. I'm going through it a little bit. Um, and I don't like this pose, I call this a fig leaf pose, stay away from that. It's just stupid. Um, <laughs> and here we go, we're going through it. I'll give that one a four. And what I'm gonna do is select four or five and let the client pick out the best one that they like and then I'll kinda you know, go with this one. All right, we're on to the next one. Um, I know for corporate she's having fun getting warm. I still have a little light stand in here, uh, but I know I'm going to kind of crop it. So I'm going to crop it right here. Um, and it's going to crop like this. And I'll probably come up just a little bit. So now we got like this. And I got a Dimus RQ. So now I got a nice square pose. Kind of like go from like an 85 to 100 millimeter look kind of a thing. Um, you know, um, and also like having a separate, you know, if I was really going to do detail work, and this is going to be super high end. Um, we would have had a, maybe another set of eyes to adjust for necklace and stuff, but this is fine, you know. And then all I can do is just, I just can say copy, right? So I'll say copy all this, spot removal, um, make sure all these local adjustments because that's going to be about the same on all of it. I'll say copy, and I haven't even adjusted anything in the color matrix, you know. That's because I went in there with a light meter and I adjusted everything with the light meter. I know my light meter, so. We're right on the money, right out of the gate, no adjustment, which is kind of nice. And that's where I like to be. I mean, the more you can go in the field and adjust your settings, you know, properly in the field, the less you're going to do in post. So some people say fix in post. Well, we all know that you have enough to do in post. So here we go. I copied those settings. I'm just going to paste, right? And then poof, paste. There we go. Look at that. Pretty nice. And there's still a little bit of re reflection there. So I can come back in and crop. But what I'm going to do now is um, just kind of 
do the ones I like favorite and then I'll put these and I got room for a graphic you know name of the trainer here you know what a good time so all these will be on their website we can make nice prints that are going to be eight by tens or you know ten by fourteens uh in their gym all printed and they're all going to have a consistency to them which is going to be nice and it's going to look way more pro than the old cell phone action um and the color is going to be right because we use strobe Hey, thanks for checking out the video today. If you like what you saw, go ahead and give us a little bit of a like there on the little thumbs upy. And if you're really interested in seeing more from Film Sandwich, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you're always updated every time we post a video. Also, we are currently an unsubscribed channel, so all the reviews here, everything that we do is all unpaid and comes out of our own pockets. So what we've done is we've put links to all the products that we review and use in our videos. And if you buy the products through those links, we get a little bit of ching ching so we can keep this channel going. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.